Did you know that every unit has a youth and an adult Order of the Arrow representative? Hey, Scottish Dan. Let's talk more about the youth and the adult Order of the Arrow representative. That is a big position. But before we go too deep into that subject, let's talk a little bit about the live meeting. Today's episode, this, this entire thing was inspired uh, by a question that came up in the very first uh, meeting we had, the first live meeting we had, uh, which is on every uh, first Sunday of each month, and it's at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the next one is coming up on February 5th, I believe. It is amazing. Definitely put that in your calendar and visit with us. Uh, it's a great way to get questions and answers and all that stuff in today's episode. You can suggest things. That's, that's totally fine. And while we're in the subject, uh, let me thank all of our Patreons uh, that are continuing their financial support. Uh, it is greatly appreciated. And then we also have memberships here on the channel. Now, channel memberships can be ongoing, like a monthly thing, or you can do a one-time donation. That's totally fine. Uh, there's a little heart thing uh, on your screen. You can hit that and do a one-time donation. That They're all appreciated. And there's really to buy equipment. Um, the live meeting needs a microphone. Uh, the sound is just... The, the headset that I wear is not working right, and I can't get any of the stuff that I have to work. So I'm going to need a microphone. Uh, and that's something that I'm hoping that our members and Patreon are all contributing into it so that we could get a microphone. So that is greatly appreciated. Now, like I said, the very first meeting we had this suggestion. They wanted to know how to get involved in the Order of the Arrow. Now, this is an adult asking this question, so this is something that, that they can do. Um, I did do a video about unit service, uh, but and I briefly touched on a lot of the stuff we're going to cover today, and it was talking about how to get back to your unit. Uh, that was the critical thing with that. Now with that, I, I'll put the, put the link to that up there. Um, see that at the end. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on that, that's fantastic uh, within uh, the Order of the Arrow for adults. So, and, and how to give service back to your unit. Uh, there are two critical positions within every single troop and crew. And that is the youth and the adult representatives of the Order of the Arrow. They're the ones that uh, do a lot of the background work so that the unit can stay aware of what's going on with the Order of the Arrow. Now, far too often, the Order of the Arrow is something that is extra. And because of that, a lot of the youth don't participate. They don't get the um, position filled for being a representative. That's unfortunate. But in addition to that, there's an adult position where they actually can help mentor and advise that youth for their unit. So these are two positions within the unit. And so many units just don't do Order of the Arrow. This is critical to retain older scouts. Um, that's, that's already because we talked about that. So it's very important that you have an Order of the Arrow rep that's the adult and the youth. You need both. Now for the youth, this is a critical position. The youth is the, uh, the, the spokesman. They're the ones that will talk to the youth about the Order of the Arrow. Uh, every unit should have one. And this, this counts towards your leadership responsibilities for rank advancement. So for Star, Life, and Eagle, you can be an OA representative. 
Now, depending on your unit, will depend if it's a pointed position or an elected position. That's something that you have to find out. Uh, as a unit leader, please appoint them, okay? You will have scouts that will step forward and take on the responsibilities of being a unit representative of the Order of the Arrow. Now, the youth will need to uh, have time to go to the, the chapter meetings. Every month, there's usually a chapter meeting that the representatives should attend. This is so that they come up with um, all of the information that you're going to need for your schedule uh, to keep the scouts that are in the Order of the Arrow informed. So that's really important. The adult advisory position with the unit, with your uh, troop or crew, uh, that adult position is more of an advisory to that youth. They are the ones that make sure that they get to that meeting, uh, that they prepare uh, whatever kind of statement for the newsletter or presenting at a meeting. Uh, that's, that's something that they do. Now, this unit representative does not wear the sash the whole time. Uh, they wear the sash only when they are representing or talking about the order of the arrow or a facet of the order of the arrow. That's when scouts and scouts, scouters, <laughs> Uh, that's when we actually wear the sash, is when we're talking about the order of the arrow. That is, that's the reason. So an order of the arrow representative giving information to the unit, when they go up to the stage, they can wear their sash. When they're representing order of the arrow activities, talking about scheduling and fees and signups and all that kind of stuff, then when they're done, when they are done, they take the sash off. They're no longer representing. So at a troop meeting, this would be a great opportunity to wear that sash. It does two things. It says, I'm in charge of this information. <laughs> it basically does that. The, the second thing that it does is it makes other scouts want to wear their sash too. And when they go to an OA event, then they wear it the whole time. So <laughs> it's, that is a wonderful thing, okay? So we want to create that uh, environment where we want to get them to progress um, in leadership in the Order of the Arrow. Now, the adult position in a troop, it would be an assistant scoutmaster. Uh, crew advisor would also have this available, uh, but it's an actual position. They are an advisor to the Order of the Arrow rep. And because of that, they give their report to the committee. So that is one of the things. So if the committee has questions about scheduling and dates and sign up and all that stuff, that's when the adult gives the information to the committee. So that's the wonderful thing about this is that you have this handshaking between the youth and the, the adults. The adults that need the information get it from the adult. And the youth that need the information get it from the youth. It is wonderful, okay? And uh, the the adult, of course, is the advisor. So they're not representing. They're not, not going up on stage. <laughs> they don't write the stuff for the newsletter. Uh, that's the youth's job. And, and the thing about the advisor is they're the ones that prompt that. They say, well, did you get something together for the newsletter? Did you get, did you go up and talk about the, the conclave that's coming up? That's the neat thing about this position. Now, you do so much for your scouts. It's just wonderful. And the Order of the Arrow is a wonderful way to retain older youth. You need this. This is a critical part of scouting. Uh, the Order of the Arrow is a, is a is a wonderful way to increase the abilities of your youth leadership. They do a lot of the kind of stuff that, that develop that leadership skill. Uh, cheerful service is one of the wonderful things about the Order of the Arrow. And you know all about cheerful service because you are volunteering for scouting, okay? Uh, you are in there. You're a leader of scouting, and I appreciate all that you do for the youth in your unit. That is awesome. Keep up the good work. 
we have we are doing good work and and I appreciate all that you do for others. That is very order of the arrow. <laughs> okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. And uh, until next time, I will see you on the trail.